Okay, what you're going to need are needle nose pliers like these, pearls, these are six millimeter glass pearls, crystals, these are Swarovski crystals, and four millimeter. You can use six millimeter if you'd like. And I'm using some round beads, these are turquoise and six millimeter and four millimeter. And then um, some seed beads. So what I'm going to use the seed beads for is on either side of these turquoise beads. If you have beads that have larger holes, you can put seed beads on both sides of the bead so that it doesn't pass through the knots. And last but not least, we've got some beading cord. This is silk. It comes pre-needled so that you don't have to worry about trying to stick the, the cord through the needle. So the first thing I do is I take the cord off of the card and I lay out my pattern. So I just use a piece of felt like this here and I lay out my beads. Um, today I'm just going to do a random pattern, but it really helps to lay it out first so you can do a balance of the colors and of the... Um, of the textures of the beads just so that it looks balanced. So I'm going to string them on and here you'll see that I'm going to put a seed bead before the turquoise bead and then I'm going to put a seed bead right after it. And I'll have a little trouble here pulling the seed bead through the needle um, but all you have to do is give it a little bit of force if you're using fresh pearls or natural pearls the holes are very tiny um, so you might have to force that first one through and then it should be easy for the rest of them to go through as you can see here I was struggling a little bit but it went through So go ahead and string on all your beads. And there are all my beads. So what I do next is I pull the beads down all the way to the end of the cord. This way, if there's any cord left, you can use it for another project. Okay, so I've pulled them all the way down to the end of the cord. I'm not sure what kind of class I'm gonna put on um, at this point, so I'm gonna leave a tail. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tie a knot. It's just a basic knot, just like that. And then you're going to pull the bead down. Make sure that the knot is big enough so that the bead does not pass through the knot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make another knot on the other side of the bead. So you do just as before, but before tightening, you are going to grab your needle nose pliers and you are going to put them in the hole right above where you want, well right at where you want the knot to be, so right above the bead. Then you pull, and the needle nose pliers kind of just act as a guide for the string and then you just pull out the pliers and tighten the knot and there you go. So you're going to do this after every bead. So the next one is the pearl. So you just do it again. Tie a knot, insert the pliers through the loop, place them right above the hole and tighten.
Now my next one is the one with the seed beads. So I'm going to pass the seed bead, the turquoise bead, and the seed bead down before I make my next hole. So again, make a loop, insert the pliers right at the top of that bead where you want the knot to be, pull the string, and tighten. And that's it. So you're going to do that to all of the beads until you're done. And then we'll add the clasp. As you can see here, I've completed my strand. I have these Thimble Horseshoe wire protectors um, that, I'm going to, that I'm going to be using. As you can see here, they look like little horseshoes. So on the ends of the horseshoe, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's tiny little holes. I've inserted a picture so you can see a little bit better of how it works. And all it's doing is it's protecting the the string from the metal clasp that we're going to be using. So you can see on the side, I've already added the clasp to the horseshoe, like that. So I've added the horseshoe to the other end, and to secure it, I am just tying a knot. Tightening it. And then I'm going to tie another knot, but this time I'm going to wrap the string around the loop a few times. So, one, two, and three. And then just tighten. Make sure that knot is right above that last bead in between the bead and the clasp or the horseshoe like that. Make sure it's tight and then we can trim the excess string. I'm going to connect these with a jump ring. I don't show it here but um, I just have a little gold jump ring. I open it and I attach them together. So when you cut the string, make sure you cut as close as possible to the knot, like that, and then on the other end, you can see I have some extra string down there, so I'm going to use that for something else, maybe, in a, maybe a bracelet to match. And then you're done. From for some extra security, you can add some super glue to the ends of that. And here is my finished product. It's nice and sturdy and beautiful. Thanks for watching.